What's going on everybody? So I'm back in the video. Hope everyone's having a great day. In today's video, Files Escape 15 has finally been released. So it actually did release late last night. And if you don't know what this app does, it basically allows you to access your root file system without needing a jailbreak. So you guys are gonna uh, be able to customize your device, but it is gonna be very limited on what you guys can do. But obviously for iOS 15, we've been waiting for a jailbreak. It's still not here yet. Um, when I'm recording this video, May 28th, 2022, which has been a very long time since the last jailbreak, but also huge credits to Apple Drive for making this possible. He's been doing this over the last couple of years with iOS 14 when he released Files Escaped for that version as well. So um, it just came out. So there are a couple issues with it right now, but he did address this in a tweet right here. Um, let me go back up. And then right here it says, uh, and then right here it says stability issues will be fixed in the update soon. Some devices not working will also be addressed by then. So for the versions um, of Files X815, it does support 15.0 all the way through 15.1.1. Um, so if you're above that, fortunately this will not work for you. Um, and also, um, once there is a full jailbreak, LA Taurine Uncover have been updated to work on iOS 15. This application won't really be needed anymore because we can literally just go into Cydia or Silo and install the actual files of the application. Uh, but this is a great alternative at the moment since we don't have a jailbreak for iOS 15. Um, so here are some things you guys can do. So um, he retweeted this from a user, basically was able to change his carrier, put a little emoji there. Um, I know you can do something like that right now without a jailbreak, but it's very complicated. A um, lot of steps, but with Falza, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get it right now. Like I said, it is very buggy. I know one of the main issues right now is it's crashing for a lot of people, as well as when you actually open up the application, nothing comes up. He did state where you just have to wait 15, uh, 15 to like 20 seconds or so before everything does pop up. But I'm going to be showing you guys how to install it, and we'll have to wait and see if it actually does work at the moment for my device. So I'm currently using an iPhone 13 Pro running 15.1, so my device is supported for this. Also, we will need a computer, Mac or Windows will work. Um, fortunately, there's no signed services right now where we can just install it through um, our device. So a computer is needed for this at the moment. All right, guys, so what you want to do is head to your computer. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this on a Mac, but on Windows, it's very uh, basically the exact same. So um, the application we're going to be using is Sideloadly. If you are familiar with Alt Street, you guys can use that as well to install files like Escape 15. But um, uh, what you guys want to do is go to the link down below in the description. And I'm going to scroll down right here, and you will see that it does support Windows and Mac OS. So if you're on a Windows, install the 64-bit. And then if you have the 32-bit, download that one as well. But for me, I'm on a Mac OS, and I will click on Download. So once you do it, download it, install it to your computer. And I already do have it opened up right here. So I did literally just open up my launchpad and search up side loadly. And we will have to connect our device to our computer. So if you are connecting your device to the computer for the first time, it may ask you to like enter your passcode um, so it can fully have full access on your computer. Just do that, um, and you will see that I have my iPhone 13 Pro right here connected and uh, we do have to enter in our Apple ID. Don't worry, it does not take any information. It's just so that we can sign the IPA onto our device, which I will do right now. So once you guys have done that, we do need to actually install the IPA, which I've already dragged in here, but you wanna go to the link down below in the description uh, to basically Apple Drive's website, where we scroll down right here on the main page and you will see something called Files that Escape 15. Make sure you guys don't install the ones from previously, so one for like iOS 14, iOS 13. So make sure it's Files that Escape 15. And once you do install that, uh, just bring it to your desktop right here, which I've already done. And all you have to do is once you've entered your Apple um, account, you just wanna drag the IPA file just like this over here. And then it should pop up where you guys can actually see the Files that Escape icon. So from here, all we have to do is click on Start. And then obviously enter our passcode once again. So it's fully done now. So now we want to do is go to our device and we should see a new icon called Falza Escape 15. So now we are back on my device. We do have the Falza Escape icon. So just give it a couple seconds. My device was kind of glitching. It kind of like froze for a sec. Uh, but then it did automatically pop up onto my home screen right here. So we do tap on it. This message is going to come up for all you guys, untrusted developers. So we basically just have to go to our settings application right here. And then we want to go into the general tab, scroll all the way down until you see VPN and device management. Look for the profile 
and then trust the application. So now it's trusted and verified now. So now we can open up the application. But like I said, the one issue for a lot of people is um, we do have to wait 10 seconds. So we should be able to access the uh, slash, which is the var section. So right here, it should be there. So for me, it automatically showed up. For some of you guys, it may take a couple seconds. So like I said, just be patient. Uh, try deleting it from your app switcher and then reopening it back up. So there you guys have it. But the one thing I do want to mention before ending off this video is make sure you guys know what you're doing when editing these files, because if you don't know what you're doing, it may uh, put your device into like a boot loop where you will have to do a full restore. And for any of you guys most likely watching this video are waiting for a uh, jailbreak for iOS 15, um, you'll be forced to update to the latest version, resulting in you guys not being able to jailbreak on the uh, current versions, which is 15.0 all the way through 15.1.1 waiting for that iOS 15 jailbreak. So um, I may have a couple, a couple tutorials uh, showing you guys some cool things with this, but uh, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. There you guys have it. Drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys never miss a video. It's basically it and I'll see you guys in the next one.